Hey guys, welcome back and welcome in if you are new. So today is just kind of, it's just going to be a jumbled mix of what I've been up to the last week since I've seen you guys. Um, I did get an item that I want to share with you, actually a couple Dior items that I want to share with you. I want to show you some of the shells that I picked up for the Buttercup Queens that are going to be part of their gift this month. And then just some other random things. We stopped at um, a truck stop gas station uh, I think they're the biggest in the US they're called Bucky's it's kind of a cult favorite I guess uh, so we stopped there so I want to show you some of those items from when we are on vacation and then I believe the next the next video or the one after that I'm gonna show you some footage from my vacation all the things that we got up to uh, so that'll be in either the next video or the one after that I also want to show you my lip gloss containers came in so we are going full steam on the next step on that so I want to share those with you today I'm wearing my brown version it's just the lightest shade and I actually really love it it has a strawberry flavor to it I don't know if I want to keep it that way I think I almost want to take the strawberry flavoring in the pink lip gloss so let me know down below what you think and also I have a box full of lipstick cases that don't have my little logo on it and I want to know if I should still put those up for sale so just lots of things to get to lots of things to share with you since I've seen you last I feel like it's been ages since I even recorded so all right let's get into it Also, I changed it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have to put something here. So uh, I actually switched the room around because it just wasn't functioning well for me anymore. So as you can see over there, those shelves, that's where I used to film in that little nook. Uh, so now I've got a different desk here. Um, my pink little filming table is right on the other side there um, that will be repurposed for other things. I have something new and exciting coming up that we'll be doing together soon as well. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling like I need a little something over here, but this is my new filming area for now. Okay, so let's get into the box that I was telling you about. This one has a bit of a confession to go with it. Um, so I'm really excited for what's in here. The confession part is that it did not come in this Dior box. It actually came in this very standard ugly paper mailer. Uh, but this is an item that you can only get overseas. So I'm really excited to have this. I want to say it was from Japan. I'll look for sure and let you guys know up here. Um, but this is something we certainly can't get here and I'm very excited to share it with you. However, they did send the wrong scent. So they are actually going to ship me the correct scent, which means this little baby is going to be up for grabs. I will put it on my website and unfortunately it will be what I paid. Um, it was in the $80 range, um, but this is definitely something you cannot get here in the States. So let's get into it. So again, I wrapped this and then I just made it like a cute shipment. I just took some of my extra pieces just to give that fun little unboxing experience. So it did not come with all of these items. It only came with the one item that I ordered. So uh, this is just a little note that I had gotten a while ago, but I hadn't shared with you yet. And I thought this was actually perfect since this is a very small unboxing. And it just says, enjoy the little things. And there is a little thing in here to enjoy. So I just thought it was perfect. All right, so as this is not a brand new package, this has been torn, but let's get into the bag first and then I'll show you what I actually ordered. Now, again, I just grabbed some of my little cutie pies and put it in here as if it was a real order, just for the fun, the experience of Dior unboxing. So of course our little Dior cinch pouch and then I just had some extra perfumes. So I threw the J'adore Dove, I think this one is. Yes, the J'adore Dove. So I just threw that little sample in there. And then one of my favorite scents, uh, I just threw the uh, Tay Cashmere. Just threw that little guy in there for just the fun of unboxing. Okay, now let me show you. This definitely came from overseas. Like I said, we can't get it here. Um, I'll put the price up here. I know it was 80 something, but I'll put the price up here so you can see exactly what it was. If you're interested, I will put it on my website. You guys know I will not upcharge at all. You will pay exactly what I paid. This one I won't discount because it was quite expensive. Uh, and I just, there's nothing I would do with it because this scent is not my favorite, but let's get into it. So the one that I ordered was the Blooming Bouquet. As you guys know by now, that's my absolute favorite Miss Dior scent. This ended up being just the uh, standard traditional Miss Dior. But the cool thing is if you haven't seen these, 
This is the solid perfume. It's not even here in the U.S. yet. I'm sure it will be at some point, but look at this gorgeous case. It's got the houndstooth. It's all fabric, and then the houndstooth on the lid here with your CD. And then I'm not going to swatch this because, again, I don't love the Miss Dior scent, and I want to be able to share this with whomever wants to purchase this. So it's got just the cute little CD. And then let me push this up for you. So this is what the perfume looks like. It's a solid perfume stick, and then you can put it on your wrist, on your neck, wherever you like. But and it smells okay. I actually just smelled it. I'm like, yep, I just don't love the standard Miss Dior. Now, Blooming Bouquet all day. They should be replacing this one for me with the Blooming Bouquet, but I haven't seen it yet. Uh, but this was just so cool, and I was really excited to get it. I found it on eBay, and it was, um, like I said, I think Japan. Um, so I ordered it from that, from that country on their eBay. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to have it. Wish it would have been the right one, but it's a happy accident because now one of you get to have something that's not even carried here in the U.S. So I will, as always, put my website down in the description below. If you are interested, I will make sure this is on the website so you can purchase it. And I'll box it up for you, too. I'll just put a couple little samples in there. It'll come in that cute white box. It'll be a full-on Dior experience for you. Okay, so I have one more cool thing that, again, was this was a gift with purchase in Japan. You cannot get it here. I've never seen it, um, but I was really excited to pick it up as well. So let me show you that item. Okay, again, no bells or whistles. I didn't even pretend that this was a real Dior order, but I just left it exactly how it came. So it came just in a bubble mailer in this clear plastic. It does have a note from the seller, which was nice. And let me show you what it is. Now this one I think I'm gonna keep for myself. Uh, it's very pretty. Um, I've, again, never seen it, but it is, does it say? It does not. So it's all just in the regular Dior packaging. Um, again, this one was off of eBay in Japan. So it just came in this paper here. And then look how pretty this is. There's one little fuzz. I did have it open already. But look at how pretty. It's a velvet with a beautiful pattern in it. Very, very pretty. I love the little... Uh, string holder on here. There are uh, two CDs there. Let me pull the plastic off. But this is just the prettiest notebook and I feel like it's actually pretty masculine so you could gift it to a man. All right, so there it is. And then it has a little flap and then it just has uh, the gold leafed edges on the paper. So I just thought that this was really pretty. Will I use it? I don't know, but it's so, so pretty. And there we have it all wrapped up. So I just thought this was kind of cool. I don't normally buy the products from overseas, but this was a really cool experience. I would say each uh, item probably took two to three weeks to get to me. Um, and shipping was very fair. I was surprised that it wasn't more than what I paid. So I will put the price up here for you and what I paid for shipping so you can see what it was. And again, it was on eBay Japan. So those were my two Dior items. So let's get moving into, you know what, let's do my lipstick cases because I cannot wait to show you. They just came in today. I very promptly ripped them open when I got home from work. I was so excited to look at them and I cannot wait to share them with you. So that will be our next thing to open. Okay, so this is how it came. It just came uh, in a bubble mailer on the outside. It was packed very nicely. It had some little uh, securing bits there on the top. Now, it's crazy what I went through to get these. So, I had ordered the plain ones, which you would have seen, and actually I have the box right here, so let me just show you. Okay, so this was my original order when I was ordering the containers. So I had ordered, I think, 25 of each. I have black and I have pink. These have no labels. And I had gone to everybody I could think of to get these labeled. Um, I had reached out just basically all across the U.S. I thought I found a place about an hour and a half from my house to do it. They said they could do it. About two months later, and a lot of teeth pulling, um, I actually, I haven't even heard from them. My mom had to drive in. 
uh, to the location to chat with them because she actually happened to know the owner, which I didn't know before I reached out to them. And they had said, oh yeah, we're working on it. We'll definitely have it done, blah, blah, blah. That was probably a month into the project. And here we are, it's at least month two. It could be later, I really don't know. I still haven't heard back. So luckily, I had, I had like the brilliant idea. I just thought, you know what? I wonder if the company I ordered these from could actually personalize, it, personalize them and lo and behold, they could. So I basically wasted at least a month and a half trying to find somebody who could do these for me when the company I ordered the first 50 from could do it for me. Uh, so now I have all of these that I've got the 50 or 60, whatever it was. I have those that don't have labels. I'm definitely not shipping them across the world to get them labeled. So I just want to know, should I still release them with the product and no label? Um, should I just figure out something else to do with them? Um, I don't know. However, what I'm super excited to show you is the completed bottles. So they just have um, the name I use for the channel. So they just say Nissa B and I have two different color variations and they are the cutest and I'm so happy with the way they turned out. So let me show you. They are all in plastic, which is great. Um, I mean, they will be cleaned before they're packaged, but uh, look, you guys, I am so excited. This is not a sticker. These are on here, so they are not going to rub off. I am just so pleased with how they turned out. Uh, I made the font by myself, and just everything about them is so perfect. I'm very, very excited. So this is the pink version. Let me show you the black. All right. Box number two came exactly the same way with the same protective uh, covering on the top. And this is the black version. I am so excited. They just look so good. Now, this is a very pale pink. It's actually the same pink as the pink bottle. Um, I just took a color swatch from the bottle when I requested what color I wanted this uh, pink to be. So it doesn't really show up too pink on your screen, but it is just the most beautiful shade of pale pink. And they're going to look so good together. Look how cute they are. I don't know. I'm a bit biased, but I am very, very happy with the way they turned out. The next step is to get them all sanitized, uh, prep the lip gloss, and get these bad boys filled. So those of you who have been asking me when these will be available to shop very soon, I cannot wait to share them with you. I've gotten good feedback so far, so I'm very happy with all of that. And uh, this has been quite some time coming, so very soon you will be able to shop these. And I'm just so excited, and I'm so blessed to be able to share this with you guys because I know that you've been wanting it too. So very, very soon. I cannot wait to announce when these will be live on the website. Okay. That's the happiest I'm probably going to be for the rest of this filming because this has been a labor of love and it's, I know it's silly. It's just a bottle. It was not willing to compromise on the quality. So, so happy. Okay. Let's get into the next thing. So my cheeks actually hurt from smiling through all of that. <laughs> so let's get into the next thing. So this is actually uh, from part of my stop at Bucky's. Now Quinn went crazy. Uh, he has become part of the cult. Um, so he has Bucky shorts, Bucky t-shirt, a Bucky beanie. He got a Bucky swimsuit bottom with a uh, Hawaiian button up shirt to match. Uh, what else did he get? He got a stuffed Bucky. Um, what Bucky's got was a ton of my money. Um, but we had a great time and it was really cool. It was a very cool experience. So let me show you the goodies that I picked up for myself. Now I definitely needed a new swim skirt. My swim skirt is a size 10 and I am now in a size four. Um, and I've just been dealing with it for the last couple of years cause I haven't found one that I like as much. Um, so this is technically, I don't think it's a swim skirt. I think it's more of an active wear, but I'm definitely going to use this as a swim skirt. So I just thought it was really cute. So this does come off. This doesn't have, so it's just a black swim skirt and it has shorts underneath, which are really nice. So I really like that because you guys know we do a lot of kayaking. So this will be great on the kayak. And then the only place that it actually does have a Bucky is on the back. This is their little beaver logo. He's just adorable. Um, and really with the swimsuit tops that I wear, they, I wear tankinis. So it comes down and covers. So you can't see it anyway. So it really just looks like a nice black swim skirt. But I will be able to wear this all summer. So I'm very happy with that. And it was $25. You can't even buy a swim skirt or a fitness apparel for $25. So I went ahead and picked it up. And because I wear my hair back a lot, I don't know why, but I just felt like I needed this in my life. 
It was a bit expensive, it was $6, um, but I had to get myself a little Bucky scrunchie. <laughs> and I told Quinn he could borrow it too because his hair is so long, you guys know. Uh, it's just, it's so hot in the summer, so I told him, I'm like, listen, you can borrow it to tie your hair back. He won't, but he looks adorable in a man bun. He'll be very mad that I told you. And, because you guys know I am a chapstick fiend, I got myself a little Bucky's chapstick. I think this was 98 cents. It wasn't very expensive at all. I haven't tried it yet, but I think it's peppermint. Yeah, smooth mint lip balm. And then it says it has aloe vera, beeswax, and vitamin E. So it sounds very clean. Let's hope. But uh, I just thought it was adorable, and for a buck, I'll try it. Okay, if you know me, you know I love chocolate. So I had to get, it wasn't even a want. I needed to try the Bucky's chocolate bar. I haven't tried it yet because I wanted to show you the wrapper. I'll have to keep you updated with how it tastes, but it's actually gluten-free too, which is really nice. So I don't have to worry about any cross-contamination. And then not only do I love chocolate, I love peanut butter. And I love peanut butter and chocolate together. So they had this giant, I think it's like a quarter of a pound, but a giant milk chocolate peanut butter Bucky. So I got that too. And then the last thing, so Quinn loves mints for in the car and I always pick him up mints, whatever kind they are. I think we had actually picked up a peppermint, um, spearmint and orange, a sour orange. So we picked those up, but they also had cotton candy mints. So I was actually really excited to try these. So let me pop them open and see what they taste like. Ooh, they smell good. Um, I don't know, they're kind of lackluster. Yeah, they don't really have much flavor, they're sweet. They don't have like a cotton candy flavor like I was expecting. Okay, well, I don't know. Clint said the mints are good, so I guess upon his recommendation, I would go with mints over cotton candy. But packaging's cute, and they're sugar-free. So that was it. That was my Bucky's haul. Okay, two more things. So I thought that this was really cute, and I want to know what my queens think, because I think this would actually be adorable. Um, so... One of our cute little custom stickers for, or emojis for the Buttercup Queens, one of them is a bee. And I just, I love him. He's so cute. But I saw these bee necklaces and I thought of the Buttercup Queens. So what do you think? Do you like this? And it also kind of reminds me of Dior, but it's just a black enamel with a gold bee inside. And then it has just the cutest little balls on the necklace itself. I don't know. I just thought this was really cute. I only purchased one because I want to get your opinion. Uh, so for my queens that are watching, what do you think? Would you like this as one of your monthly gifts? Let me know and I will order some more. All right. Keeping on theme of my queens. So in Florida, we did shelling on a secluded island, so uninhabited. And I picked up some shells for the queens in that trip as well. But while we were on, so this was a different trip. We went to Kais for that, for the island tour, but we actually stopped in Sanibel a couple times. And while we were there, there was a cutest little shell store. And I actually did some shopping for you. I picked up some Sanibel shells. So these were actually sourced on Sanibel. They were not ordered. This store labels very clearly where the shells are sourced from. And so I only chose from Sanibel. And I picked these up for you and I want to share them with you. So the first one, I'm really excited because I've only ever found one or two of these Um kind of, I guess, in the wild. Uh, but these were nice because they were from Sanibel. They had already been cleaned and they have already been bleached. So you don't have to do anything but display this or share it, whatever you want to do. I picked up one for each of my queens. So let me show you what it is. All right, here we go. So this is called a five hole keyhole sand dollar. And they are just so beautiful, nice and clean. And the cool thing is, I'll show you in my shell video that I'm going to do, but there are what they call doves inside of here. If you've never broken one of these open, don't break this. I had to pay for it. But if you've ever broken open a sand dollar, there are actually five little doves inside. They look like um, kind of like a dove bird with the little wings. And they're just the prettiest little thing. So I'll show you in the next video when we do the shell 
kind of unboxing or tour, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll show you what the doves look like. So this one actually does, all of these for the queen still have the doves inside, but I just loved how nice and clean and perfect these were. So each of you is getting one of these. And then let me open this one for you. So I picked up two of my favorite shells. There is a story behind it. Unfortunately, one of the queens is not going to get one that I bought. I will substitute. However, one of these crown conks actually still had a bit of snail in it with the operculum. And if you know anything about shells, if you get it with the snail still inside, it is going to stink to high heavens. And I am definitely not shipping that to one of you. So one of you will unfortunately be shorted a crown conch, but I will definitely replace it with something beautiful. So I did pick up five. However, only four of these are going to ship out. This is called a crown conch. It's gorgeous. Has little spikes on it. That's the inside. Uh, so again, I bought technically five, but I'm only shipping four. But they are just one of the prettiest shells. So that'll be coming to you soon. And then, again, this is one of my favorite shells. I love finding these. And I actually found a ton on Pice, which I will share with you soon. Uh, but, man, look at these. This is called an Apple Murex. So gorgeous. This is from the Gastropod family. And it has a snail inside. That's what grows this shell. But they are just absolutely gorgeous. And so, again, I picked up one for each of my queens. And look at this one. This one has, I mean, they're all gorgeous. And I handpicked them out of the bin, so I picked the prettiest ones. But look at just the coloring on this one. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's very lacy. A lot of Apple Murexes are very worn when you find them. Uh, but these have just beautiful, nice little frills on them. So, yep, there we go. So, again, one of each for each queen. And I cannot wait. So your next package is just going to be beach stuff. I hope you don't mind. Again, these were something that I picked up for you that I chose um, from the Santa Bar Island store. And then the other things that you're going to get, you'll see in a video very soon because they are pieces that I found on Kais Island that I wanted to share with you. Well, there we have it. We've gone through a lot. What did we have? We had two, um, I don't even know the word, um, two Dior pieces from a completely different country. We had my new lip gloss cases. We had um, a cute little bee necklace that I want your opinion on. We had shells that are going to the queens. What else? Oh, my Bucky's trip. So there were some fun things. I hope you like this content. Um, I will admit that I've been struggling lately because my Dior reviews do so well. Uh, but you guys know that that's just not feasible all the time for me. So I'm really trying to figure out what you want to see. What's going to get views, what's going to get likes, what's going to get subscribers, all of that stuff. And in the process, I have found that I'm not enjoying myself as much as I did before. So let me know in the comments below, what do you want to see? What kind of content? Um, I do have um, suggestions from uh, a previous survey that I did, which I really appreciate those answers, but a lot of them were still geared towards couture items and still purchasing. So I just want to know what kind of content you want to see, but I also want to keep having fun. I definitely don't want to lose the fun because just the conversations that we have, you guys know that's just the joy of my day, my week. So keep those comments coming. I look forward to some new suggestions and letting, let me know what you want, queens. Do you love that bee necklace? Are you happy about getting the shells that were both purchased and uh, collected for you on Kais? Um, and then in the next couple videos, I have something really fun I want to share with you. It's geared towards our mystery sales that I know everybody loves. And then we'll just get into some more mischief like always. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. You guys have a great day and take care. Bye guys. Thank you.